It's fair to say that Real Madrid have lost the flair they used to have under Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, one of the most successful Spanish and European sides in the history of football has not had good times since Ronaldo left them back in 2018, both in the La Liga as well as the Champions League. So I thought it would be fun to rebuild Real Madrid and take them back to top of not only Spanish football but also European football. The reason guys I'm doing this rebuild with Real Madrid is Kylian Mbappe. As you guys might have known that Madrid are in talks with PSG for the dream signing and the rules of this rebuild with Real Madrid is very simple that obviously we'll sim every game and only play the Champions League final when we reach that but also we have to compulsory sign Kylian Mbappe. So yeah, let's get started with this Real Madrid rebuild. Season 1 with Real Madrid begins and let's take a look at this team we've got here. We've got Benzema up front as our striker. Obviously we'll be signing Mbappe. Asensio on the right hand side. Vinicius Jr. on the left hand side. Cruz, Modric, Casemiro in the midfield. Militao and Fernandes obviously. They have Ross, Rafael, Varane and Sergio Ramos, one of the most successful centre-back parents. And we've got Danny Carvajal and Mendy as our left-back. And obviously Thibaut Coutoua in goal. In the bench we have got some very good players like Valverde. We've got Vasquez, Rodrigo, young player and obviously so on. So I mean obviously first we'll complete the signing of Kylian Mbappe and also offload some dead wood of the club as well. Well, the first signing here at Madrid is David Alaba from Bayern Munich. I actually made the transfers of teams like Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, but I forgot to make this transfer happen before I started the career mode. So, therefore, we have made the signing in David Alaba for 25 million, and obviously, he'll be our centre back. For 245 million, we have signed Kylian Mbappe for Real Madrid. I mean, what a player we have got here. 245 million is the money we have paid him for him obviously he's going to be the striker for us for basically for the rest of the rebuild and there we go the the dream signing for madrid has been made well here we are on deadline day and obviously we have only made two signings that is Kylian mbappe and david alaba and also i just want to show you guys that we have obviously oh, if we wanted to sign mbappe we had to recall some players from the loan spends like Gareth Bale and Martin Odegaard so we have we, we recall them from the loan spells and we have sold them so Gareth Bale, Brahim Diaz, Martin Odegaard all have have been sold permanently and yeah that's our transfer business and also players like Lucas Vasquez and so on so our transfer business has been done for this window although we have 130 million 140 sorry left in our budget that will be spending in January if needed but for now We'll be saving until the end, not end of the season, until January and see where we stand in La Liga as well as the Champions League. Well, it seems just like real life, Atletico Madrid are running with the title as they have not even lost a single match. We stand third in La Liga with 34 points. I mean, we have 11 points far off Barcelona as well. So things are not going that well for us in the Liga less in the Champions League where are we so we are in the round of 16 where we face PSG brilliant absolutely brilliant we finished second in our group and also we have got the Super Copa semi-final versus Real Sociedad so in January I think so we have to make signings and let's see what kind of signings we can make well I think so we have found the perfect replacement for Rafael Varane in Laporte from Manchester City for 100 million euros and obviously it's a big signing for us we needed a good centre back Nacho Fernandes was out for about five months so I thought Laporte would be a very fantastic signing he's Spanish as well so I think so it'll help the cause so there we go we've made a centre back signing in Laporte here we are on deadline day and Laporte was the only signing that we will be making in this transfer window because I was trying to uh, get rid of some older players like Modric and Benzema but the offers just didn't come and therefore now we'll be semming until that first leg obviously versus PSG. First leg versus 
PSG at the Bernabeu, Messi, Neymar are starting for them and Mbappe is starting against his former side. Let's see what is the first leg scoreline here versus PSG and it is a 1-0 PSG win obviously with Neymar scoring for them. I mean I just don't know what will happen in the second leg. Let's see. Well, second leg versus PSG didn't go in our favour as it was a 1-1 draw at the Parc de France. But Messi scored the winner for them and they go through to the next round of the Champions League. 2-1 on, on aggregate and with that we are out of the Champions League in the round of 16 itself. Well, first season with Madrid is no joke as we have finished third in La Liga 71 points way behind Atletico Madrid and obviously even Barcelona for that matter but somehow we at least secured Champions League football for next season let's see Supercopa have we able to win it no Barcelona end up winning it Copa de España let's see it's Atletico Madrid who win it I think so we were there in the quarterfinals yes where we lost to Granada on penalties and in the Champions League obviously we know that we lost to PSG in the round of 16 itself. Also, let's take a quick look at all the stats. Who was our top scorer for this season? Was it Kylian Mbappe, our dream signing? And yes, it was. Kylian Mbappe, 19 goals for us, 2 assists. Asensio with 18 goals, 5 assists. And Hazard with 14 goals, 2 assists. A very, I would say, decent season. A very average season. But yeah, let's move on to season 2. Season 2 with Madrid begins and obviously we have sold many players, not many, at least two players that is uh, Karim Benzema and obviously Isco to Manchester United and Spurs respectively because they were getting old guys and to get some good money for them was absolutely important and therefore we have sold them and here we are with a fresh squad I think so the main uh, thing this season is to improve that midfield maybe to get someone better in place of Tony Cruz and also maybe a good centre back and yeah I think so the rest of the team is pretty much good and also squad depth is very important so we'll be working on a centre back, a midfielder and squad depth and with about 393 million I suppose we can do that business very easily. We have made a huge signing for the centre back spot in Matthias Dilek from Juventus for 130 million euros. A very good player overall. I think so he'll help the squad to take that next step in the Champions League and therefore we have made the centre back signing. Second signing is Kai Havertz, the man who scored the Champions League winner versus Manchester City. We have bought the German playmaker to Real Madrid for 105 million euros, as I told. I think so. We need something new in that midfield, and I think so. Kai Havertz exactly provides us that. Well, for backup purposes, we have got Scott McTominay for 45 million from Manchester United. As I said, we also need to look at squad depth and therefore we have got the Scotchman for about 45 million euros. Well, we have made a double signing on deadline day for backup purposes in Donny van de Peek. I mean, I think so we have rescued him from Manchester United. It's fair to say that. And also, we have got Jonathan David from Lille and we have given them uh, Luka Jovic. So that's our transfer business done. I would say for this window, a lot of signings. Dilek, Havertz, Smith-Somney, Van de Beek, Jonathan David. But now I think so this squad is fully ready to win the Champions League as well as the La Liga. So let's see, can we do that and sim until January. Taking a quick look at our Champions League group, we have got Madrid, Dortmund, Lyon and Dinamo Kiev. So a simple group I would say, I hope you can top it. Taking a look at some other groups, Madrid, Lazio in the same one, Bayern, Chelsea, Barcelona, Gladbach, PSG, Manchester United, Leipzig, Villarreal, Liverpool, Juventus, Benfica, Galatasaray, City, Milan, Los Galil and Think so I'm not sure who that side last side was anyways PSG Napoli and Shakhtar in the same group so these are the Champions League group for season two well it's fair to say this time things are going at least a bit better than last season as we are just six points behind our El Clasico rivals Barcelona and let's see in the Supercopa who we face it's Atletico Madrid uh, and in the Champions League let's see have we made into the round of 16 Yes, we have where we face AC Milan, a relatively easier draw than last season, surely. 
we topped our group with 16 points and i think so the squad we have got i don't think so we need any transfer business to be done so we'll sim until that first leg and then let's see what happens versus milan first leg at the san siro i hope we can take a victory versus milan here and we have exactly done that essentio scoring a brace for us and it gives us a comfortable lead going into that second leg second leg versus milan at the bernabao i hope we don't bottle this and i hope we can make it in, into the quarterfinals and yes we have 4-2 on aggregate and with that we are into a champions league quarterfinal well it had to be liverpool in the quarterfinals of the champions league the team who Madrid beat in the 2018-19 Champions League final. They're facing us and I'm sure they'll be up for revenge. But I think so, our squad squ squ is capable of getting past them. First leg at Anfield. Quick swimming this one versus Liverpool. Let's hope for a victory. And we have exactly picked that a 2-1 victory. And it was Kai Havertz with an 89-minute winner. And Tony Cruz who scored for us. As I said for the AC Milan second leg, I hope we don't bottle this and make our place into a Champions League semi-final. We have exactly done that. A 3-1 victory. Kai, not Kai Havertz this time around. It's Eden Hazard who scored a 98th minute winner. And with that, we are into a Champions League semi-final. So after beating, obviously, AC Milan and Liverpool in the round of 16 and quarterfinal, it is Bayern Munich who we face in the semi-final and let's see first leg what is going to be the scoreline here at the Allianz Arena with the first team I hope we can get a good result I would obviously say that and the final scoreline is going to be and 3-1 Bayern I mean a 3-1 victory for Bayern Munich but I hope we can turn things around in that second leg second leg versus Bayern Munich can we do it yes we can 2-0 on night and it is 3-3 on aggregate and on away goals rule we go through it is Tony van der Beek and Kylian Mbappe who sends us through to a Champions League final well we have won the La Liga by a margin of seven points a very good performance by us this season and last season obviously it was not good but we bounced back and we have won the La Liga obviously and it is Barcelona, Real Sociedad and Atletico Madrid who complete the top four. Let's see Supercopa. Have we won it? Yes, we have. One goal to nil to Barcelona in the final Copa de España. Let's see. Have we won it? No, it was Sevilla who won that. But let's see who we face in the Champions League final. And it says Atletico Madrid. The Madrid derby in the final. It's going to be a huge match for us. We've already won the La Liga, obviously. And... Uh, Let's take a quick look at all the stats before we play that final. And uh, it is Kylian Mbappe who is our top goal scorer. Eden Hazard with 22 goals, 5 assists. Kai Havertz also having a very good season. And also let's see how much goals Tony Van de Beek scored because he scored a very important goal for us in that semi-final. And he only scored one goal all the time he, he was here at Madrid and how important that goal was for us. But anyways, let's play that final versus Atletico here we go Champions League final versus Atletico Madrid a retro of the 2013 and 14 Champions League final obviously Real Madrid got the better of Atleti back then but here we are two seasons only it was a very short rebuild and let's get into the match Asensio starts for actually I want to make a change we will be starting Eden Hazard instead of Marx Asensio just because he's got that a bit I mean the pace is there for Eden Hazard so he'll start for us on the right hand side and in the midfield we have got Cruz, Havertz, Casemiro the back line is pretty strong and looking at that Atletico team they have not changed much things but obviously we made the new signings for them as well like Matthias Kuna and all those so Hermoso starts at left back, Lema Suarez, Oblak in goal. A very strong athletic team, but let's get into it. Changed by Mendy, finds Mbappe on the break. A very bad mistake by Madrid. And can we capitalize on it? Yes, we can. As Kylian Mbappe opens his scoring here in this Champions League final and does the celebration. I mean, good defending by Mendy there. And he obviously did 
pass it to Kylian Mbappe and he will obviously finish he will not miss those type of chances does his classic celebration as we take the lead here versus Atletico Madrid a goal by the star boy himself Kylian Mbappe and no way Jano Black is saving that one Osao Niguez finds Luis Suarez a very good pass can he score well he can a chip shot by the Uruguayan the audacity to do that in a Champions League final is just brilliant and Atletico Madrid have responded soon after it our defense was caught up and uh, very good pass by Sam Liguez. I, I just don't know what to say and uh, Luis Suarez beating Thibaut Coutoua James Luis Suarez trying to play it patiently from that midfield oh my days they have found Thomas Lemma but we have caught up well with Danny Carvajal back to Hermoso there on that left hand side I think I suppose Koke I'm trying to block all possible angles of shooting. Sound like yes. This time the pass is not good as Thibaut Kotra collects the ball. Again, our defence has been caught up many times in this game already as the Englishman is trying to attack and he is just bullied the league then. I don't know how but Cruz intercepted it well and it's back to Atletico Madrid. I mean, I just don't know why we are not clearing the ball away well. Koke. This time good defending but it falls straight back to Reese James crossed in. Koke goes for the shot. It's all chaos in this Madrid half and finally it was a bad shot by Koke I suppose. Fine Sonny Cruz goes for the shot and what a save by Chano Black then. What a shot was that by Tony Cruz. I mean just smacked it but he could not get past the... Uh, pass the goalkeeper and a superb save by Jan Oblak there. Cruz and he can start an attack for us maybe with Mbappe here on the attack. Finds Eden Hazard. Back to Kylian Mbappe. Johnny Cruz. Kai Havertz. Can he score? Well, he cannot. What a save by Oblak but we still have the ball here with uh, Mendy. To Mbappe. Goes for the shot and it is Kylian Mbappe who scores the second goal. What a shot by Kylian Mbappe. Very good pass by suppose was that by Tony Cruz to Kylian Mbappe and a very good finish by the Frenchman to Hazard. Hazard finds Mbappe. Can he get an, get himself a hat trick? Goes for the shot. A very good save by Oblak there and it is cleared away by Madrid. Atletico Madrid. Sorry. Yes. Find Simon Lemma goes for the shot, but I think so. It's a penalty. It has Danny Carvajal's tackle? It was not very good, and uh, I, th I don't think so. The referee will book him for that, but I think so. It's a penalty for Madrid, Atletico Madrid. Yes, it is, and it is going to be Luis Suarez to take it. Can he score it? Well, he cannot. It hit the post. Unlucky, but on the rebound, we just get the ball away as we have given it them, given the ball away to them, and. I cannot believe what Tony Cruz has just done there. I mean, Luis Suarez misses the penalty and we still give him the chance to score. Sao Linguez on the attack. Suarez back to Sao Linguez. Goes for the shot, but what a save by Thibaut Coach. I thought that just went in, but a very strong hand by the Belgium goalkeeper because if they might have scored that, it was game over for us and we were, I mean, we obviously were going to lose this final, but thanks to our goalkeeper that he didn't let that goal go in. Honor for Atletico here, taken by Thomas Lemma. Cleared away by Vinicius Jr., but they, it falls straight to Reese James. And it is Hector Herrera, but thankfully it is offside. And this goal will obviously not count, but we have been very bad to clear the ball from the back. And this has now happened second time, but fortunately this time, the I mean... Hector Herrera was offside. One last attack for us here with Danny Carvajal. I'm trying to find options. I have to go back for Eden Hazard. Finds Mbappe. Can he score? Third goal. Get himself a hat trick. No, he cannot. What an absolute superb save by Jan Oblak there. And this game is now going into extra time. Now, Bake finds Mbappe on the break here. Good turn by, by Mbappe there, goes for the shot and a blistering shot and a hat-trick for Kylian Mbappe and 100-minute win, hopefully that should be, I mean, 
I don't know what kind of celebration that is but if we defend well for the rest of the 15-20 minutes we are winning the Champions League with Real Madrid a hat-trick for Kylian Mbappe and what a strike by the Frenchman and yeah let's try to defend well now okay here finds Jao Felix and I cannot believe what have we done here I mean this uh, this has been the story of the game whenever we score we let Atletico Madrid come back into the game and we have done the same here as this time it is not Luis Suarez it is Jao Felix I mean that defending and I think so we have to pay for it as this game seemingly is also heading towards penalties good pass by Dilek there to Mbappe surely there can be an attack for us here finds I'm not sure who it is goes for the shot and it is Fede Valverde who scores an assist by killing Mbappe a very good ball by Matthias Dilek and it is a goal scoring Champions League match I mean four goals for us three for Atletico Madrid and hope this will be the last goal in this match because if it is we are winning the Champions League a goal by the Uruguay a super sub and I think so it was a very good pass by Dilek to find Mbappe and the control from Mbappe to find Fede Valverde and the finish was absolutely superb as we have taken once more the lead here in this Champions League final Ja Felix I hope we can defend this well here Laporte holding the ball but it is Ja Felix a very good save by uh, Thibaut Courtois and that might be a match winning save as there's only one minute left it was very bad clearance by Eden Hazard and I cannot believe it was a I don't know how that clearance straight uh, fell to Jao Felix took the advantage a very very bad uh, shot by Eden Hazard and it fell to Jao Felix who scored a fourth goal in this game and I've only myself to blame for this because bad defending and this game is now going into egg, oh, sorry not extra time penalties it's exactly that's gonna happen as this game now is gonna go to penalties I'm sure this is the first time in any of the rebuilds that uh, uh, the I mean the final is gonna go in penalties so let's get directly started with it Yes, Lemar to take the first one for Atletico Madrid. A good save by Coachua in the first penalty itself. And let's see if Hazard can score this bottom corner. I hope he can. Well, he can. I just thought he missed it, but thankfully he scored it. And it's Felix now here. Wrong way. Sent Thibaut Coachua the wrong way, but it's Kylian Mbappe now to take the second penalty for us. Gonna go a bit far from Oblak. Well, a perfect penalty by the Frenchman here. And now it's only guess. The man in form for Atletico Madrid. And very good save by Thibaut Coutoua once more. Two saves. And Vinicius Junior has to score this. I hope I'm going middle. Let's see if we can score this. Yes, we can. And it is Vinicius Junior with the cheeky stuff. And if Madrid misses, do miss this penalty we are winning the Champions League final so let's see can we save it well we can and it says Thibaut Courtois intelligence that makes us win the Champions League final and what a final it has been 4-4 after the end of extra time I know I mean Madrid have been dreadful in penalties thanks to our goalkeeper who saves us and it is Real Madrid who are back I mean who are the European champions once more and it is time to see the celebration let's see who is the uh, player who lift the Champions League trophy because I think so it should be Casemiro but I'm not so sure because he was sent off obviously so yeah I mean let's see who will lift that Champions League trophy it will be the, I mean the goalkeeping masterclass himself Thibaut Courtois and with that Real Madrid are the champions of Europe it was a very fun video obviously for me to record hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and with this the video comes to an end i'll see you guys for the next one